Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install PostgreSQL on your Windows 11 operating system. So what is PostgreSQL? So PostgreSQL is a powerful open source object relational database system which you can use for a variety of applications. So let's see how we can install Postgre. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for PostgreSQL and the first link which will appear here will be from Postgre sql.org so i'm going to click on this link and once this postgresql uh, website opens straight away you will be able to see this download button here also you can see the latest version of postgre which is available which is 15.2 at the time of making this video and you can see the release notes for various versions for postgre here right so i'm going to click on this download button which is going to redirect me to the downloads page here i'm going to select windows and then there is this link for downloading the installer for postgres which is certified by edb and this postgre installer will come with uh, various uh, tools for example postgre server pg admin which is a graphical tool for managing and developing your databases right so let me click on this download the installer link and here you have uh, various versions. I'm going to just click on this Windows version. So just click the link which is under Windows version. And then it's going to start the download of this Windows exe file for PostgreSQL, right? So at the time of making this video, this file is around 304 megabyte. So just wait for the download to complete. So once this uh, executable file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this executable file and let me minimize this browser. So first of all, uh, you will see this message which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I will click on yes. And now you can see uh, this installer is being started. So just wait for a while unless you see a window here. So now you can see this setup uh, PostgreSQL uh, window has been started. So I'm going to click on next here. This will be the default location where PostgreSQL will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. And then uh, select components. It's going to install PostgreSQL server, PG admin 4, stack builder and command line tools. I want uh, all these tools so I will uh, leave it as default and then click on next and then uh, where will your data will be stored. So data directory for your PostgreSQL database will be inside your PostgreSQL folder itself and it's going to create this data folder there. So this will be the data directory where all your database data will be saved right click on next. Here you can uh, provide any password, which is a super user password. Uh, you can provide any complex password here, but for simplicity, I'm going to provide a very simple password here and retype it. Let me provide uh, that password here also and then click on next. And it says password doesn't match. I wrote root here and let me repeat root here and then click on next. And then this will be the default port. So I will leave this port as default and then click on next. And then select the locale to be used by the new database cluster. I'm going to choose English here. Uh, I hope the default language is English. But let me choose uh, specifically that from here. So there is English. There are several English uh, languages here. I will choose English from India, let's say, and then click on next and then click on next and then click on next. It's going to install all these components which we have selected. So just wait for this installation to complete and you just need to wait unless this progress bar reaches to the 100% mark. And after some time, you will see uh, this message which says completing the PostgreSQL setup wizard. Just leave this checkbox as checked and then click on finish. And it's going to start this 
stack builder for postgre for now i don't want to install anything uh, but in future you can install various additional drivers using uh, the stack builder i can just click on cancel here and then click on yes here okay now i can open the postgresql by clicking on the start icon and then uh, click on all and then i can just go to postgre 15 you can see these are the tools which are installed I can click on PG admin 4 here, which is a graphical tool which allows us to create and manage our database. So now uh, PG admin has been started and it says set master password. Please set the master password here. So you need to set the master password. Let me just provide a very simple master password and then click on OK. And the master password is set now. You can see the server is running. It says, please enter the password for the user Postgre. I can uh, just uh, write the same password here. And then uh, I can just click on save password. OK. And then you can see that uh, this uh, server has been connected. The default database which already comes with uh, PostgreSQL is Postgre. You can already see that database here. And then you have all these uh, uh, options here. So let's see the schema. So I'm going to click on schema and then uh, I can click on public and you can see there are collections here and uh, other things. But I want to go to the tables and tables are empty for now. So I can create a new table and uh, then <coughs> start using PostgreSQL. Also, PostgreSQL comes with the PSQL shell. So I can even go to all apps and then in PostgreSQL 15, I can see SQL shell PSQL. I can just click on that and you can see the default server is localhost. I can press enter. Default database is Postgre. Default port is 5432. Username is Postgres and password for the Postgre user is the password which you have already set. So I'm going to just type that password and then press enter. And I'm inside the Postgre SQL cell or PSQL. So now in order to uh, list all the tables, I can just write backslash uh, DT and you can see it says did not find any relations because there were no tables. So you cannot find any uh, table here. So let's create a very simple uh, table. So let me just uh, paste this table schema here. You can see the table has been created and I have created a table with two columns. One is name, other is email and you can see table has been created. So once again, when I uh, give this backslash DT command, it's going to show me the table which I have created and the table name is users here and you can see the name of the table is users right in order to quit from this psql you once again write uh, backslash and then write q to quit so just press enter and you will come out of this psql shell and then once you press enter again this will be uh, gone this command prompt will be gone here on the pg admin because we have created one table I can just uh, refresh this table here and I will be able to see my users table in PG admin and then I can see all the relations and everything here, right? So let's see the columns and there are only two columns as I have uh, mentioned, name and, e name and email. Uh, the default column is ID which is automatically created. So you can see that our table is created. So this is how you can download and install PostgreSQL and use PostgreSQL on your Windows 11 operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.